everybody and we're back with another review it's me again your boy John Piloy, and this time we're featuring another mech fans toys figure and I'm just really super excited because I've been a big fan of mech fan toys lately and I've been reviewing their Dinobots and right now we have the fourth member of the mech fans toys dinos and we have Sonarl Sonarl and that's a <laughs> wonderful way of not getting sued because we have technically Snarl from the Dinobots and as you can see we have the very nice looking product shot right there and a very odd looking face that looks like Chris Griffin from Family Guy. Honestly, he looks like Chris Griffin, dude. <laughs> Anywho, MacFans Toys, again, awesome stuff. This is number 24 from their figure line. We have a very nice art of a stegosaurus which is kind of weird because most of the dinosaurs featured in the dinobots are from the jurassic and i mean cretaceous but the, i don't know this guy wasn't really part of that you know so they technically shouldn't be together with triceratops and the other dinosaurs but anyway geeky stuff again uh let's go back here so we have this guy we have this guy we have this guy and now we have this this guy so the only remaining figure left is the T-Rex, the mighty T-Rex known as Grimlock. We're waiting for that. I think he's gonna come around August. Super duper excited, super duper excited. My camera is even excited because it's moving. I'm just really, can't wait. We have a product shot of his dino mode. Very cute looking little stego. And his art face right there. Face profile pic for his Facebook. <laughs> but again, totally different face, like a meh kind of face. Don't know why. But again, that's MFD for you. So I think they have oversized and knocked off the DX9 version of this. So again, fresh out of the box. Look at this. Oh, so awesome. Let's throw away the box. Go away. What's included? We have this plastic baggie of nothingness. <laughs> because there is no Diaclone, Dianot, there's a card of some sort. There is just, there's this sword that's not even an Energon sword. So we're gonna get used, we're gonna use that later. He is here in case in his plastic prison. Very nice. So I'm gonna pop, oh, there is the Energon sword. Extra sword right there, my bad. Thank you very much, MFT. Good job. We're gonna pause him and we're gonna free him. Okay, we're back and we have Sonarl. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I just can't contain my just sheer joy and excitement for this figure. This is just really amazing. I love the Dinobots. They're one of my favorites. I'm a big fan of the Decepticons, but I, I have just fallen for the Dinobots since day one. I, I met them and I saw them, you know, watching the G1 Transformers and... Who wouldn't? You know, dinosaurs and robots are meant to be together. They're su supposed to be Transformers. They're supposed to be Zoids. They're supposed to be Power Rangers Zords. I mean, dinosaurs and robots. Who can go wrong with that? But anyway, Snarl. Snarl right here is MFT's take on Snarl from the Dinobots. And from the artwork, he doesn't really look that bad. I thought that he would look like Peter Griffin or like Chris Griffin, I'm sorry, but he's... He looks a little happier. He's a happy little stegosaur. The the paint job is just really just the same as the usual MFT dinos that you get. You get the very vibrant silver. You got that bright red. That uh, these clear plastics. A really nice gold that just stands out. And again, I'm just. I could be biased, but I'm right now. I'm just all praise to what I'm seeing. He has an Energon sword, which I was totally freaking out that I thought he didn't. But good job, MFD Energon sword. He has a pistol, really nice cobalt blue eyes, metallic all the way, really nice hefty feel, very heavy, very oversized. You know, pretty big for a uh, pretty big for a. What do you call this? A Legends figure. The only thing that he comes along extra with would be this. And later on we're going to talk about this little piece right here. And this is definitely something for our friend Spoop. Right there. So we're going to 
it's a actually it's a connector piece for swoop and as you can see i didn't turn swoop into his robot mode because we're gonna put this here it's it's supposed to make him stand if you have like a gundam stand or like an action stand that's going to be the purpose of that so let's put put swoop over there so uh bonuses aside the figure doesn't really have anything you know this is just really the only ultimate bonus that you're going to get aside from that wonderful looking gold golden sword uh pairing it up with the other dinos in the line and i'm going to tell you guys that if you're not if you haven't been getting the mft dinos yet i am suggesting right now get off your butts if you're here in the philippines go to divisoria go to green hills i got my snarl at divisoria at 999 mall uh shout out to mr alan king who has a shop down at 999 mall that's where i get all my stuff he doesn't really know me i'm like a stealthy kind of ninja kind of guy that buys toys from him and he doesn't know that i review them but if he's watching right now i've been a big fan of your store been buying most of my stuff from your store so good job sir thank you for bringing us mft and again thank you to dx9 for designing all these wonderful looking dinobots and kudos to mft for giving it to the masses you know making it more friendly to the mass to the masses right there and again going back to this they are looking sweet looking amazing and i just can't wait for grimlock to join the fray because these guys look stunning i mean if you put put swoop right there you know flying in the background that's the poster that's the poster from one of the dinobot art that i've seen everybody's in robot mode and then swoop was flying in the background that is just spot on downright spot on ladies and gentlemen awesome awesome stuff so let's get a, let's take sludge and slash away i'm sorry slag why am i talking slash like guns and roses uh, let's check this out so Articulation wise, this has got to be the one of the the most articulate uh, Dinobots from the Amethy line. Both of my Dinobots, Sludge and Slag, are stiff as heck. But this guy is just not tight. He is, he is an improvement from the tightness. But again, he doesn't esca escape. Oops, that lightning? Yeah, again, it's the rainy season here. He doesn't escape the fact that he is from MFT, and if you're from MFT, you have freaking sprue marks, mate. Uh, here, that's uh, an excess plastic from a sprue mark right there. MFT quality, ladies and gentlemen, hit or miss. You know, good quality plastic, sucky kind of quality control when it comes to cleaning up. Um, you can see there's chip marks right there. Yeah. There, there too. But nothing that would hurt the toy. So I'm just super excited. I'm really stoked. So I'm going to transform the guy and get him into Stego mode. I'll be right back. Okay, gang. So we're back and we're going to transform Sonarl into his Dyna mode. Now, uh, just looking at the manual and trying to figure it out, um, he is the usual mech fans toys transformation it's very difficult and it's very scary to transform because you don't know if you're breaking stuff already so what i like to do is i like to start off with these well, two sections right here that's very tight a while back it was already placed in this uh configuration and i opened them straight out of the box uh, but based on the instructions, he shouldn't be like that. So again, it's a wonderful time to have no fingernails. So once you have him in that mode, you can now have this, you know, the plate section free. Put the head, tuck it back in, and you can just bring this whole assembly up like so. Now you have these two tails uh, that are free. Bring these little red sections like so pop these little doodads over here and uh, I totally forgot how this is gonna turn out give me a sec uh-huh yeah -huh. okay is it gonna be this way yes I believe so let's see um, give me a minute okay there so try to push it in and as you push it in it should sit flush like that. 
put the tails together. This is pretty easy because you just have to just tuck the hands in. And pretty much those are the legs of the dyno. And tuck it back in, right there. So slowly we're seeing the back part of the dyno. And now you have to really bring this whole section here. So just push this, you see that the, the chest section, it's like this. So you just have to fold it in together to make these two angle. And then from there, you can then take this whole plate section Ugh. that is MFT tightness again oh man Ugh. gotta do something about this how do you do this it is tight folks it is just really MFT tight uh, give me a sec try to oh there so let's try to there there you go there. So let's make sure that this section is all flushed in. And again, MFT plastic, really tight stuff. So this is the kind of fun engineering part. I was trying to figure out how to do this, but you have to pull this section. And I just wish that they did the same engineering with, with slag because slag is so scary to transform. So you have to pull these things out. So there's like two heads. And from there you can unhide the front paws, legs, whatever you want to call it. So do the same thing here. See that? And just rotate it. Rotate the thing like so. And then from there, alrighty, come on, come on, there you go. So once you have this, you will rotate the whole crotch section, making sure that this would be facing these guys right there. And then once you do that, rotate these things inward because they will fold like so and that's pretty cool if you ask me so once you fold them my suggestion is clip these things already there would be that that thing right there clip that thing already and bring the two halves together whoosh MFT tight and just ugh Bring that right there. Just try to angle it some more. I don't know why it's not closing in. There you go. All right. Bring the legs forward. Like that. There you go. And. We're just technically angling the legs so that it really looks like a stego. But there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that jubby little guy. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm just super happy. <laughs> I can't explain how nice to see Snarl, you know, in, in full Dinobot cartoon accurate glory. That is pretty cool. I like it. You know, Snarl was set aside in the movie. There was just really few cameo scenes of him, but I kind of miss this little Stego. He is chubby. I like chubby dinos. That is one cute Snarl. Yeah. I love what they did with the clear plastic. It just compensates all the silver. There's that black hint of blue right there accents. 
the eyes look great, cobalt, and then you can move the mouth. Comparison, quick comparison. Yeah, let me get this thing. Quick comparison with the POTP or Power of the Primes Snarl. And you can just see the total difference, man. You can just see the utter difference between the two. This is very G1 accurate, cartoon accurate, and this is more of a more of a correct stegosaur because <laughs> the shape of the head, the stegosaur's head is you know, you know, it's like, like that. But honestly, honestly, folks, I am being biased. I, I am just totally all praise with MFT and DX9 because this is really spot on. This is a far, far take on Snarl. And I'm not complaining. I love this little dude because of the functionality that it transforms into Volcanicus's limb. But, you know, there was really no combiner for dinos. And this is what you're really going to get. This little thing right here. So I'm going to pause and transform him back. And let's just try to check out the uh, final say on this thing. Okay, guys, we're back. And we finally transformed him back into his robo mode. And, uh, yeah. Look at this. I mean, these guys just look phenomenal together. I mean, just the accuracy of the Dinobots rendition, uh, or the, the, the whole rendition that was made by DX9, and then these guys from MFT just really copied them. They just look great together. Now, one of the things that was included in the kit, like what I told you, was that little square piece. Let me show you how that works. So if you have your swooper, MFT swooper, all you have to do is just take that free piece that comes along with Sonaro, and there's just gonna be these two little peg or these little two sections, and you have to peg it here, and then just fold these two together, and that's gonna give oh slag just fell. You're <laughs> you're gonna see that there's gonna be an option now for him to have like a stand. So you can just put Swooper right there, and let's get Slag back up. So these are your MFT dinos, and the only missing piece right now would be, what do you call this, uh, Grimlock. And he's coming this August, or most likely early September, and I'm just very excited. We all are. Uh, I got him for 800 pesos at 999 Mall, again, um, at a very nice little shop uh, in 999 Mall by you know the owner Alan King he is selling these MFD dinos my other MFD dinos are really kind of dusty they've been in storage for quite some time so if you don't have the MFD dinos I am suggesting to get them now get them please these are you know the, the MFD line won't steer you wrong if you're a big G1 Transformers fan and you want something that's not that expensive what is wrong with you, Slag? <laughs> not that not that expensive, and at the same time, what do you call this? G1 accurate? Then get these guys. Get these wonderful guys right here. So, uh, am I gonna forget about the POTP dinos? No, I love them for the combining possibilities, but for standalone dinos, then MFD is the way to go. So that's my take on MFT, folks. That's my take on the MFT dinos. Tune in again next time when I will definitely review the last and final piece of the Dinobot team, which is the mighty King Grimlock. So thank you very much for watching. If you have your comments, suggestions, feedback, don't forget to drop them. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Chompilo. Yeah, yeah, Philippines. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, till all are one, Peace out. Rock and roll.